It is my wish that when I finish preaching today, the technical team will find a way of sending this message to all the member churches of Fountain Gate Chapel. And if they don't mind, they should play the whole message in their church. As for Borga, we will produce, we will play the whole message in the Borga Tanga Church because um, the truth is that I have never been able to preach one message the same way two times. I've never, all my life. There is an unclean spirit in the Bible which Jesus Christ used to teach his people wisdom. But apart from the wisdom, I see inspiration. I see motivation. I see prophecy. I see a demon that shows a human being, that shows a family, that shows a business, that shows a church, that shows a ministry how to gather momentum and fulfill your purpose. The Bible said in Luke chapter 11 and the verse number 24, that when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through the dry places seeking rest, and finding none, he said, I will return to my house from whence I came out. And when he comes and finds the place swept, and garnished then goeth he and taketh to him seven other spirits more wicked than himself and they enter in and dwell there and the last state of the man is worse than the first going back to the verse number 24 when the unclean spirit is gone out when the unclean spirit is gone out he goes through the dry places seeking rest and finding none God has given us a church. God has given us a ministry. God has given you a family. God has given you a business. God has given you an entity, an organization to run. Any believer who is a little objective can tell that sometimes life is not with you as it started. That when you started, maybe you were more powerful you were more anointed you were more holy you were more glorious you were more studious you were more astute with the things of god than now the bible said the demon was cast out of his home and sometimes you can find out your heart is not the same heart it used to be you sat in church but after some time after some hits and offenses your heart was corrupted you are really not where you used to be you used to be pure you used to be holy you used to be righteous it's not like that anymore we started off as a church church was beautiful powerful up till today it is powerful we are better in some ways but there are some ways we have lost ground objectivity just being objective, just being humble, sometimes gives it's a time for self-assessment. It's a time for examination. Jesus Christ encouraged the churches when he wrote the letters to the seven churches of Asia Minor. We became Fountain Gate Chapel. What are the areas in which we lost ground? This demon lost ground. It was cast out. Sometimes as a church, the world can cast us out of the original place of glory we used to be. Sometimes sin can cast us out. Sometimes the devil can cast us out. Sometimes we ourselves by our own will can cast ourselves out this demon was cast out and it went about looking for rest and finding none when we are fasting we are looking for rest when we are fasting we want god to take us to the place of glory and the place of power and the place of the anointing when we are fasting we are saying lord we are not exactly what we want we want to be we want to be like the church in the early days the church that was born on the day of pentecost we want to be like the church church that Paul belonged to, the church that Peter belonged to, that Paul, the church that James belonged to. That is the kind of church we are looking for. We want the kind of church uh, where the shadow of the apostles could raise the sick. We want the kind of church uh, where handkerchiefs and aprons from the body of apostles would create special
preach your miracles. We want the candle of church where one lie from Ananias and Sapphira. The glory was so much that one lie slayed a man dead in the church. We want the kind of church that is not the place of entertainment, but the place for the raw manifestation of the power of God. Lord, we want a revival. We want the church where every Tuesday is revival, every Wednesday is revival, every Friday is revival. We want the church that gives rest to people. We don't want a church where the people are troubled, but we want the church where the people can come and sit and during the worship, they can hear the voice of the Messiah saying, come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Lord, we have been through the dry places. Ayakabashi. We go to church on Tuesday, it's dry. We go on Wednesday, it is dry. We go at an all night, it's dry. We go on a Friday, it is dry. Return us to the ancient landmarks. Take us to the place we belong. The place which is our home. Our home is the place of holiness. Our home is the place of prayer. Our home is the place of the anointing. Our home is the place where we come to church and we have, it's like we have come to Mount Zion. It's like we have come to the Mount Sinai where we hear voices and lightness and there is a thundering of Almighty God. Lord, take us home. We have spiritual taste and we know what is a dry place and what is a place of rest. Where we are now is not the place we want to be as something gets travel. We are looking for the higher ground. We want to be like the city set on the hill whose light cannot be quenched and whose fire cannot be quenched. We want to be like the light of the world and be like the salt of the earth. Father, we want to go home. We don't want to be like other churches. We want to be like the church which Jesus founded when he said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I see a demon which is saying, this is not what I want. This place is dry. That place is dry. That place is dry. I will go back to my house from whence I came. What I'm bringing today is not a command. What I'm bringing today is not an exhortation. What I'm bringing today is not a, 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 it's not a rebuke. But what I'm bringing today, I call it a prophetic manifesto. I'm bringing to you a manifesto. I'm presenting a manifesto to Fountain Gate Chapel and to EAM. Ayakabashi. I see that we have gone. We have made progress. But there are places in our lives we have lost ground. But let me prophesy to you that if a demon could return to the house from which it came, your family shall return. Your business shall return. Something shall return. Hearing shall return. We shall return to the place we are coming from. I'm declaring a manifesto. And the manifesto is a prophetic manifesto. A manifesto is a published article or a published declaration of somebody's intentions or somebody's views or somebody's motives. This is our manifesto. Say the Lord. We shall return. We shall return. It was Isaiah who thousands of years ago declared and said in Isaiah 51 11, Therefore, the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come again unto Zion. Everlasting joy shall be upon their head and they shall obtain gladness and joy. My Bible said, and sorrow and mourning shall flee away from them. I see you return. Your family shall return. Your business shall return. Your anointing will return. The glory you lost is coming back. The money you lost is coming back. I prophesy a revival in Fountain Gate Chapel. A revival in Eden. I prophesy a revival in the body of Christ. When the church was born in the, in the early 80s, the 
charismatic church was birthed uh, in the 70s uh, and in the 80s. Look at the glory. I went to action. Uh, the glory was there. Central gospel. The glory was there. Victory Bible Church. You couldn't stand uh, because of the taboo. Uh, ah, the glory of God was everywhere. But I can see, ladies and gentlemen, the enemy has hit us in so many ways. Uh, we can see ourselves sometimes. Uh, we are not what you used to be. Uh, the devil has oppressed us in so many ways uh, and tortured us in so many ways. Uh, but rejoice not against me. Oh, my enemy. For when I fall, uh, I shall arise. Uh, if I sit in darkness, uh, the light shall shine upon me. I see the charismatic church. Uh, it is coming out of the dog drums, uh, I prophesy, we shall return, uh, we shall return, uh, if a demon could return, uh, we shall return, uh, if a demon had common sense, uh, we are more than that, uh, if a demon had inspiration, we are more than that, uh, if a demon had inspiration, we are more than that, uh, I see you return, uh, stop crying, this is coming back, the anointing is coming back, your wisdom is coming back, you will be successful one more time, just tell that devil, fall, I shall not wash, if I sit in darkness, the Lord, the light shall shine upon me, the demon said, I shall return, I shall return to the house from which I was cast out, I will go back, I will return, I see you returning, you lost your energy, you lost your strength, you lost your peace, you lost your health, but your energy is coming, I prophesy, there is a revival, I prophesy, there is a restoration, I prophesy, there is a return, he said I shall return, anyone you that is standing in a place of nostalgia, and you are looking at how your family used to be, how your business used to be, and you are saying how shall these things be, how can it happen again, I came to declare to you, you will live again, it was Ezekiel the prophet, who was standing in the valley, and God said unto him, son of man, can these bones live, he said, Lord, thou knowest, and my Bible said, and God told him, he said, prophesy unto these bones, and I will put breath in them, and they shall live, so I prophesied, and when I prophesied, there was a noise, and there was a shaking, and the bones came together, bowed to his bones, and he said, God said to me, prophesy to the four winds, and I prophesied to the four winds, and the breath entered into them, and the sinners were put upon them, and the muscles and the flesh came upon them, and I prophesied to and the wind entered them, and they stood up a great army, something get trouble, they will become a great army. Yeah, we shall become a great army. I see us returning. The demon said, I shall return. And when he returned, he found the place in the verse number 25. And the place was swept and vanished. Cannot declare by the end of the forty days. We shall be swept and we shall be gunished. I'm on verse 25. By the end of the fast, when things get trouble, in the house will be swept. It will be holy, it will be pure. No wrinkle, no spot, no blemish, but blameless. Ayakadasi, Ratondo, our church will be pure. No strife, no empty, no jealousy. No fornication, no adultery, no lying, no cheating, no stealing. We shall be holy, we shall be holy, and we shall declare that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. For his founded it upon the seas and established it upon the flood. Who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord, and who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands, we shall not clean hands, and we are hands, our souls are not lifted up to vanity. We shall not swear this is but we shall receive the 
blessing of the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. I can get you I see the church. It is filth. I see the church. It is clean. I see the church. It is holy. I see our hearts. We are pure. We are holy. Your family will be holy again. Your family will be pure. Your family will be swept. Your mind will be swept. Your organization, your business, everything is swept. And my Bible said it was not only swept, but it was garnished to, to be swept. Or to be swept or to sweep means to brush off the dust and to brush off the dust. God is brushing some things off. The unclean will not be part of us. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the council of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of mockers, but is delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate and matter. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. His leaves shall not wither. He shall bring forth his fruit in the season. Whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Prophetic declaration, prophetic manifesto. Something the chapel shall be clean. Something the chapel shall be pure. Yeah, man. Shall be clean. Yeah, man. Shall be pure. The body of Christ shall be pure. And the body of Christ shall be holy. Your business, your heart, your life. I see here unprecedented holiness, impeccable holiness, impeccable righteousness, spotless sanctification. It is coming to the house. We shall be pure. We shall be holy. I see it coming. He came and saw that the place was swept. It was swept. It was swept and punished. Baby, you will not remain like this forever. God will make you holy. The power of sin over your life will be broken and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. You are the temple of the living God. Ah, and the Holy Ghost dwells in you. I see the Holy Ghost. What a mighty work in your life. Pacatoshe, Pato, Rekaba, Sakabunta, Pata, Lekabunta, Kabata, Lakabunta, Kabata, Lekabunta, Kabata, Lekaloseka, Yakabunta, Pate, Lekretosekeya, Yakabunta, Nidika, Yakenoke, Yakabaka. It was swept and it was garnished. And the word to be garnished means it was put in proper order. It also means it was adorned. It also means it was decorated. In the prophetic declaration, I want to submit to you that something the chapel July will not be the something that we have known. Apart from being swept, it will be garnished. Garnish with holiness, garnish with grace, garnish with power. I promise that power in the house, purity in the house, prosperity in the house, purity, power, prosperity, purity, power, prosperity, purity, power, prosperity, purity, power, prosperity, purity, power, prosperity. I see purity in your house. I see power in your house. I see prosperity in your house. This is the prophetic declaration. This is the prophetic manifesto. This is the prophetic manifesto. God will fill this house with his glory. He will fill this house with his power. Purified. Purified. Powerful. Prosperous. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. By, by the first of July. I see holiness in the house. I see power in the house. I see glory in the house. I see prosperity. I see money. I see success. I see ability in the house. My God shall open the windows of heaven and pour the blessing on the church, on the ministry, in your family, in your business, in your organization, in your institution. Come on, scream like your voice is here. Power! 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 
Kapirianko, in Batoko, Libano. I declare now the prophecy of the Father upon something the trouble, upon EAM, upon your health, upon your business, upon your family. Your house is swept, your house is garnished. himself and they enter in and dwell there and the last state of the man is worse than the first we have the opposite our last state will be better than the beginning your house will never be the same after this fasting your house will be better your your body will be better, your soul will be better, your spirit will be better, your business will be better, your business will be better, your church will be better. Come on, shout yes! Attract, be 
gods that were stronger than itself prophetic manifesto today may god plant a supernatural magnet in you receive a supernatural magnet i see you withdrawing power i said i see you withdrawing power you are going to draw this time not hopeless people but you are going to draw people that can take you to your next level in life i see the engineers coming i see the doctors coming i see the it specialists coming i see the doctors and the nurses coming i see the teachers coming i see the factories coming i see the administrators coming I see the financiers coming. I see the people so winners coming. I see the evangelists coming. I see the prayer warriors coming. I see the Sunday school teachers coming. I see souls coming. Our prayer topic today is our prayer topic today is for founding a chapel to gather souls. I pray may you have the capacity to draw. Fountain Gate Chapel. May God breathe on this church, on individuals and on member churches. They will begin to draw souls. When they are drawing souls, oh, I see people who are more anointed than us coming. People who are wiser than us are coming. People who are richer than us are coming. People who are holier than us are coming. People who are more honorable than us are coming. I see somebody is coming to add to your life. I declare the prophetic declaration and the prophetic manifesto. Souls are coming. Souls are coming. Arise, shine. Your light is coming. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Darkness shall cover the earth and cause darkness on the people. But the Lord and his glory shall come upon you. The Gentiles will come to your light, and their kings will come to the brightness of your horizon. I see them coming from afar. Your sons and your daughters, they will be less at your side. Receive it in the name of Jesus. You are drawing souls. Look at you. Business partners are coming. Look at you. Business partners are coming. Your helpers are coming. You need somebody to help you. That person you need somebody to lift you up. That person is coming. You need somebody to give you a push. That person is coming. You need encouragement. That person is coming. You have carried the load alone for far too long. Now I see somebody is coming to help you to put the load on your head. You will not carry the load alone. For two are better than one. They shall obtain the reward for their labor. And the threefold cord is not quickly broken. Somebody is coming to help you to become better than you used to be, bigger than you used to be, stronger than you used to be. If the demon could attract other spirits which were more wicked than himself, you will attract people that were more anointed than you, wiser than you, holier than you. I pray seven people are coming into your life. Seventy people are coming into your church. Seven hundred people are coming into your church. Seven thousand people are coming into your church. They are coming to make you better. Fountain Gate Chapel, I declare, the souls are coming. The souls are coming. The souls are coming. The souls are coming. The Bible said, He went and brought seven other spirits. Revelation chapter 12. Verse 1. And I, John, saw a wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. And she, being with child, Traveled in birth and paid to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven the great red dragon, 
seven heads, ten horns, seven crowns upon the head. And he stood before the woman, but before then, the Bible said, and his tail drew one third of the angels of God and cast them to the earth. Satan went into God's camp and drew, attracted one third of God's angels into rebellion. But ladies and gentlemen, if the devil could do this, you are a child of God. I prophesied to Fountain Gate Chapel. Listen, the devil went to God's camp and drew. Fountain Gate Chapel, after this fasting, we will go to the world and draw. Listen, we are breaking the camp of the world, breaking the camp of other religions, breaking the camp of witches and wizards, breaking the case of hell, and we are taking the souls out. We are Drawing the souls out, out of the kingdom of darkness. I see the doctors coming out, and the engineers coming out, and the lawyers coming out, and the millionaires and the billionaires coming out. I see white people, I see Malaysians, I see Indians, I see Americans, I see Ghanaians, I see Nigerians, I see Zimbabweans, I see South Africans. I see them coming into Fountain Gate Chapel. I see the British coming, I see the Germans coming. We are going into the nations of the world, and we are drawing people we are drawing people listen our anointing should draw them god will give us the wisdom to draw them god will give us the money to draw them god will give us the grace to draw them i prophesy this is the prophetic manifesto we lost some ground we lost some ground the prophetic manifesto in four points we lost some ground number two we are returning home number three the place is swept and garnished number four we are taking other souls lives who are more blessed than us and we are adding them to ourselves the destination of this manifesto the latter state of this church a ministry will be better than the beginning the latter state of your family will be better than the beginning the latter state of your spirit your soul your body will be better than the beginning the better state of your institutional organization and your business will be better than the beginning this is the prophetic manifesto to found in the chapel at the year that whilst we are fasting this is what God is going to do. If the demon could achieve something, the God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore, we his servant will arise and build. Chairman, be strong and be of good courage. Your 40 days fasting and prayer shall not be in vain. You are preparing the fast. Your people are followed and the Lord shall reward them. You will not be the witness of heaven and pour out as a blessing because it is a chosen fast. Our health shall spring forth speedily. Every yoke will be broken and the name of the Lord our God will be glorified. Somebody lift up your hand today and I want you to begin to pray. I'm repenting to where I used to be and when I return the place will be swept and garnished somebody prayed I can't listen let's look at me anybody here today how many of you received it yesterday I picked up this word the Lord said sometimes you use this word to rebuke sometimes you use it to encourage sometimes you use it to inspire people but he said tomorrow when you go to my people prophesy the word
I said, how am I going to do it? He said, I'll show you. And he showed me. By Agoseka, if you are standing somewhere, lift up your hands. And you are saying, my family and my business, my family and my business, they are not the same. Lord, I received this prophetic manifesto that by the end of this fast, my family should return. My body should return. Stand in front of me and clap your hands and pray like you are violent. Pray. But stand in front of me and do the prayer. If you are praying for something like that, come forward quickly and receive it.
Look up. I took this demon last night. I said, if this is what a demon can get in life, that it can be cast out and return and rather find the place swept and garnished. I said, Lord, it doesn't matter how I miss it. When I go back, your mercy will make the place swept and garnished. Even a demon could recover. I said, if a demon could return, I will return. Our people will return. Our families will return. Our businesses will return. The Lord said, you can use that book and teach wisdom. You can use it to inspire. But tomorrow, use it and prophesy. Because I'm showing you what will happen in Fountain Gate Chapel after the fasting. And I'm showing you what will happen in their houses. I'm showing you what will happen in their businesses. Isaiah 51 11. Put it on the screen for me. Receive this word as if I laid my hands and legs and hands on you. Can we shout it together? Everybody lift up your two hands. Shout it together. One, two, three. said the redeemed I didn't even understand who you were talking about mommy was telling me yesterday that the late Archbishop Benson Idahosa went to raise a dead person from the dead and when he went there he said you this lady come back to life and he was looking at the story where Jesus went and raised a damsel and he repeated all the words and he said Jesus called the lady damsel but you I don't know your name then he ran out and asked the people what is the name of this girl they told him the name and he went back but you this name, name here you said redeemed now put your own name there and say it again lift up your hand therefore his word shall return go
come from Jamaica. Archie is you, it's not them. So come back. Don't blame them. You have to change the way you sing it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is that Archie was born a church boy? Me too. Yes, we are near Macacra. So you see that even up till now, I jump more than him. He was born a mass server. The day I see Archie do some of the things I can do, I'll say, Where did he learn that from? Now listen, we want to pray for Fountain Gate Chapel and for EA. We want to pray yeah. that after this fast, we will find our church swept and garnished. God has prophesied it to us, He has spoken to us, so it is done. Yes. And we are going to pray that the souls will come in. We Amen. will draw in the souls. Amen. Two prayer points. Lift up your voice and pray. Throughout the world. <laughs> and I want, I want some people to take um, cordless mics. When I mention somebody's name, give the person a cordless mic. And the person should stand in front of me on the pulpit and face the congregation. Chairman, please come up with your microphone. Pastor Tony, come up, pick up a microphone and come. 
Oh, glory. Pastor Dan, pick up a microphone and come. Pastor Cornelius, pick up a microphone and come. Four of you. Pastor Zinabu, pick up a microphone and come. Oh, glory. Each of you keep the prayer around two minutes. I'll start from Pastor Tony. Everybody lift up your hand, keep praying. I'm going to pick the prayer topics from the prophetic manifesto. Pastor Tony, you want to pray that God's people will not be discouraged. This demon was not discouraged. They cast it out. It was roaming from place to place, never gave up. And it was patient, waiting for a breakthrough. What a demon. Pray that for us. And when you finish praying, everybody try and remember your prayer topic so that I don't break. As soon as he says amen, Pastor Cornelius will pray for Fountain Gate Chapel. May God give us the resolve to return. The resolve to return from our house, to return to our house. The resolve, the determination that we would do the kind of things that we have to do in order to return. Chairman, you will pray that by the end of this fasting and praying, Fountain Gate Chapel should be swept and garnished. When you pray that, Pastor Siedu will pray that God will bring us to a place where there will be no greed, no selfishness, no envy. But that when the place is swept and garnished, nobody will try to keep everything for himself. Look at the way chairman looks at this church and he sees the church as all of us, our church. When I come here, look at the way he treats me. He treats me as if I'm the pastor of this house. But this, humanly speaking, is his church. So pray against greed, strife, selfishness. That when the place is swept and garnished, nobody will annex it as if it's their own. And then Sister Zinabu, you will pray that God will give us the magnetic power, the power of attraction to draw into this ministry the kind of people who must come in to make Fountain Gate Chapel what it ought to be and take us to the next level. Shall we pray? So you start. Lift up your hand and follow them in prayer. Father, we pray. Pray for Fountain Gate Chapel International. We pray for EAM International. We pray that we shall not be discouraged. We will not be discouraged. No member of us shall be discouraged. But we as soldiers of God, we shall mount up like eagles. We shall run and not be weary. We shall walk and not faint. In the name of Jesus. That every member of Fountain Gate Chapel International, every member of EAM International, shall not be discouraged. We shall be strong. We shall be bold. We shall not be discouraged in the areas of our life, in our spiritual area, in our career area, in our business area, in every aspect of our life. That this church shall go forth, shall go strong, shall go forth, shall go strong, shall go stronger, and that shall not be discouraged in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory because, oh Lord, my Father, we can make a return. We have moved up to oh God, my Father. We have been cast out of oh God. We have been through dry and dry places. We have been through places, oh God, my Father, that have not been comfortable. And we have sought, oh God, my Father, for rest and not found. But Lord, today, alas, we remember, oh God, my Father, the place we call home. And we return, oh God, my Father, with great resolve, oh God, and with great, oh God, my Father, resolve. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that as we come, oh God, may we be received, may we find rest, oh God, may we find our place garnished, oh God, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth.
Amen. Oh yes, Lord. Father, glory, glory. We give you praise, Father. By the prophetic manifest manifesto you declare to today over our lives, we declare that by the first of July, that our churches, our homes, our businesses, Fountain Gate Chapel, EAM, will be swept and garnished. Our hearts will be clean. Our hands will be clean. Our minds will be clean. Every death will be taken away from us. That you, God, will sweep us clean. You will touch our hearts. You will heal our hearts. You will heal us clean. You will touch us. You will wash us. You will wash our minds. You will wash our hands. That we shall be clean. Our thoughts will be clean. Our mouths will be clean. And oh God, by that same day we pray that everything that we need, you will bring in this house. You will bring in Fountain Gate Chapel. You will bring in EAM. You will bring in businesses. You will bring in families. Let it be according to the prophetic manifesto that has been spoken over us. We pray that we shall be swept, clean, and garnished for every good thing. Let your hand be lifted over your church. Make sure, Lord, ensure it is done. You have declared it. We receive it. We are clean. We are clean. We are clean. We are clean. Our hands are clean. Our hearts are clean. Our pieces are clean. Fountain the chapel is clean. EAM is clean. We are garnished. Let the garnishing come upon us. Whatever we need to get to the message. Let it be given. Let it be established. Let the people come. Let the riches come. Let the blessings come. Let your name be glorified. We give you the praise in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we continue to pray, thanking you that we are returning to a house that is swept, swept clean. Thanking you that we are returning to a house that has been punished. And right now, we pray in the name of Jesus that every spirit of God of jealousy, every spirit of God of strife. Jesus' name. We call for every goodness to come 
come to us in Jesus' name with all of every goodness, goodness in the settle, goodness in every area, goodness in finances come to us. We draw from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west. In Jesus' name, we are alive on the hill and we draw from every sector. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are the bearers of light.